What's up, you guys? My name is Mary, and with High Priestess Intuition, welcome my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This free general collective, blah, blah, blah. free general collective reading caps to besides everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're 13,100 subscribers. So thanks so much for all the love and support, you guys. Um, if you think anyone else would uh, like my channel, please feel free to share my channel very publicly uh, via social media word of mouth. Very much appreciate it. Love you guys. Um, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out, you guys. I'm out. I wasn't locked up. Just saying, just saying. By the way, I'm doing pre-recorded to protect my energy. Um, I'm not locked up. What? 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 Just saying, just saying. I'm happy about that. I could have faced up to three months in jail. But I'm out. So, just saying. Um, I got to do some classes. And then go to another court date, and then that's it. So, um, that's the way it's rolling. So, um, but you know, I have to think of my career too. So I wanted to fight it all the way, to be honest. I wanted to fight it all the way, just to say, I wanted to fight it all the way, but I had to think of my kids, myself and my career. Um, and so that's why I chose to do it the way I did. Um, once I'm completely out of this, I will probably um, um, show the body cam footage um, if anybody's interested in viewing it. I won't do it on here. I will probably do it on my Facebook, um, but that won't be until like August, just to let everybody know, okay? But if you're interested in viewing it, um, it's like a movie. It's like a movie, um, and I have it, and I'm not going to part with it. So, um, I'm going to keep it, and once I'm out of this, I will show it, and that's just the truth for anybody that wants to see it, okay? All right, so we're going to do a reading. I haven't received a message yet, but um, I felt guided to do a reading, uh, pull the current energy, and we'll see what's going on with you guys, okay? We're, oh, we got 13,100 of you guys on here, so let's see what the hell's going on. Just saying, just saying, and then I'm going... To go exercise because that's my new favorite thing. Just saying, just saying. Um, and I got this awesome compliment. I don't know if you watched my channel, ma'am, or not. Um, I spoke to you in the map code today. You were very, very, very sweet. You told me I rocked the hell out of my dress and you were so nice. And um, I don't know if you watch, but if you do, thank you so much. Um, if you do, comment in the comment section below uh, if you feel guided to do so. Um, I would love to thank you publicly um, because it was such a beautiful compliment you gave me. I don't know if you watch me or not. You never said you did, but um, if you do. Spirit messages you have for the collective. Goddess of the Moon. Storm warning reverse. Number 52, 10 could be very significant numbers in one slide. 52 or 10. 10s are completions of cycles. So completion of cycle. And we have door to spirit. So um, 52, 32, or 10 could be very significant numbers in one slide. 52, 32, or 10. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Any significant number in one slide possibly. Goddess of the moon. Storm morning, reverse, door to spirit, upright. I heard to key, uh, take this one upright. Anxiety reversed. Number 18 could be a very significant number as well. Number 18. A feminine energy is very highly, highly, highly intuitive and very smart. 
Through many series of chain of events, someone she would have never expected is about to deliver her information of the past. It's about to create many series of chain of events, positively for her. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. So, highly intuitive femme energy. I love that. Y'all know I do. I support strong feminine energies. Um, I support everybody. Dudes, dudettes, women, ladies, men, what have you, what have you. But especially feminines because I'm a femme. And um, I love it. Just saying, just saying. Hashtag no racism and support women. Just saying, just saying. That's the way I feel. Um, so you're highly intuitive femme energy and support men. But I don't like the sex sexist men. And I'm just being for real. Um, we live in 2022, not 1902, if anybody needs to hear that. Just saying. Okay, so I feel you're a strong fem energy, whoever you are. You're a strong fem energy. You're highly intuitive. You, you're pulling up the high priestess um, energy. Goddess of the moon is high priestess energy in this deck. Um, so you're highly intuitive. Um, you are um, strong, I feel. You're highly intuitive. You're the keeper of the secrets. Um, high priestess energy is keeper of the secrets, highly intuitive, strong, femme energy. I mean, for some, you could be a high priest, but I heard femme energy. So, um, I heard somebody who would have never expected is about to deliver you, um, information of the past and it's about to basically create positive series of chain events for you. So, you're, you're a high priestess energy in here, ma'am, whoever you are. Um, this information is about to really, really help you out in some shape or fashion if this resonates for you. You can be any race. Um, just saying. I mean, it's not about race in here. We all know that. But I pulled in, pulled in some racism the other day. So, um, how that resonates, okay? I welcome all races. Y'all know that. For two and a half years, I've welcomed all races, all nationalities, all origins, all ethnicities, all ages, all men and women. It doesn't matter to me. Y'all know that. At least I would hope you know about it. So you plug it in how it resonates. Storm warning, reverse door to spirit. You are very, 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 very highly connected to the spiritual realm. And the person that's about to reach out to you is as well. About to create some very positive series of shame events for you. Okay, I heard you're very highly connected with the spiritual realm. And the person that's about to reach out to you is very highly connected with the spiritual realm too. So I feel they could be a reader or a light side spiritualist or just be highly connected to the spiritual realm. You don't have to be a reader or, um, or a light side spiritualist or a light worker, etc., etc., etc. To be highly connected with the spiritual realm. And that's just damn true. Um, you might need to hear that. Um, but... You are highly connected with spiritual realm and the fem energy, uh, goddess of the moon, high priestess energy over here. And the person that's about to connect with you is highly connected with spiritual realm too. Now, this could be a um, masculine or a fem energy I'm feeling that's about to connect with you um, soon with this very important information of the past that's about to help your ass out in a huge way, um, whoever you are. But um, what you do have in common, whether they're a masculine or a fem, is you're both very highly connected with spiritual realm. Whoever you are and how this resonates, okay? Um, but I heard it's about to help you out in a huge way. Whoever you are, ma'am or sir. Well, you're ma'am here. You're ma'am. And I think it's going to decrease anxiety. We got fourth chakra underneath it. Maybe they're doing it out of love. And I don't feel this is like love. I think it's like love of the universe. I think this person is about to deliver you this information out of love. Love of you. Love of um, not like, oh, baby, I'm going to rock you all night long, love. Like, just because they have a little mushy spot in their heart chakra for you. Just saying, just saying. I mean, not like in a weird way. Weird, creepy, obsessive. I want to stalk you and, you know, like, off you and then do something funky with your dead body. Not like that. I'm not trying to creep anybody out. But I'm, I'm just saying, like, it's in a positive, copacetic way, a heart, okra, open heart chakra kind of way, not a weird, creepy, deepy, um, let me stalk your every move kind of way, if that makes sense, okay? And it's not going to create chaos or conflict. There's a lot of spiritual energy here. Um, this is really beautiful, man. 
Um, it's a masculine or femme about to reach out to you. It is about to help you out in such a huge way. It is about to help you out in such a huge way. So this information they're about to deliver you about the about the past is about to help you out in such a huge way. Whoever you are, ma'am, high priestess energy over here. Wow, man. And it's going to decrease anxiety or relieve anxiety. Um, and they're doing it out of not, um, I was going to say respect, but not respect. Out of caring, out of affection. For some, it could be out of respect, possibly. Uh, it's really beautiful. You plug it in, how it resonates. Lead to cornucopia, possibly. And maybe there's traveling involved with journey. Huh. Let me see if I got anything else. Things are about to start going fast, 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 fast. For many people, very soon. Financially, in a positive way. Things are about to start going fast, 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 fast. Uh, financially, for many people, soon, in a positive way. A couple readers, very fast. It was strategically held stuck in the past for a reason, but it the bottom's about to fall open. Okay, I heard a couple readers. Um, it has strategic. Okay, whoever you are, you're a couple readers that sounds like you have strategically been kept stuck or stagnant um, for some kind of strategic reason. If this resonates for you, but I heard basically it's about the bottom's about to fall open. So. It's about to go fast for you. I think you count's about to go up in a huge way. Um, if I think you do an online platform, if that resonates for you. I absolutely do. I don't think this is a home business. Online platform for sure. Online platform for sure, I heard. Okay, confirmation. Because I heard it's been cut, kept stuck. If it was a home business, you would control who's coming into your home, who you're giving readings to. You control that. Um, and I don't do home readings. Y'all know that. I don't do home readings. Uh, I was gang stalked for freaking years in my community. There's no damn way I'm allowing crazy ass folks in my community to come in my home. And that's just the damn truth. The damn freaking truth. Uh, for me. But um, it was confirmation in here. Download. That it was an online business. And it's at least two of you guys that have strategically been kept stuck. But soon the bottom's about to fall out. So I feel your view count's about to go up in a huge way. Something's about to happen. I don't know if somebody's going to promote you or they already did promote you or something changes or changes with the analytics or something to do with your online platform. It's about to change in a positive way. And it's about to basically make the bottom fall open in a very positive way for you. Maybe you get a lot of word of mouth attention and people spread your channel around and it helps bring in the revenue, the watch counts, the views, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, or something else. How that resonates, but it's about to increase your revenue. It's about to increase your business. Uh, it's about to increase your business. You were kind of stuck in the past. So I think it was going at a freaking snail's pace is what I'm trying to say. Um, but it was going at snail's pace for strategic reasons. Secret competition. But they don't have any control over this anymore. They are about to be pissed. Okay, I heard secret competition, but they don't have any control over this. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. So, secret competition. So, you had secret competition, I feel, online with other readers. Um, but they don't want you to know they were secretly competing with you. But they were strategically, I think, behind the scenes, keeping you stuck in some shape, form, or fashion. It could have been from, through magic. It could have been through manipulative people in other companies or what have you, what have you. But somehow... Or it could have been them running their gabbers to other people, having them not come view your content. How that resonates. But how that resonates, I heard they um, don't have any control over it anymore. And it's about to go fast. It's about to piss them off. And it's about to go fast, and it's about to piss them off. 
So it's about to go fast. I think your business is about to get promoted in some shape, form, or fashion, or something about to change positively with your business. And it's about to go fast, and it's about to be small. Wow. So you plug it in, how it resonates. But there's going to be nothing they can do about it. Um, they controlled the narrative in the past. But now the narrative, they cannot, they cannot control the narrative anymore. So now... They're about to see a growth and increase in your business in a very positive way, my dear. And secretly, it's going to piss them off, but they also know there's going to be nothing they can do about it because they can't control the narrative anymore because so many things have changed, if that makes sense. Wow. Let me see if I hear anything, anything else. Okay, I didn't, I didn't. And one of you guys is going to get contact from another uh, Fem Energy High Priestess. It's about to get contact from another masculine or Fem, both high in the spiritual realm, both spiritualists. Both, um, I feel to like a spiritualist here. And it's some kind of information from the past, and whatever this is, it's about to help you out in a huge way. Um, this information, whatever the crap it is, I think it's going to have you. I think this information is going to be able to make you create series of chain events. In some shape, form, or fashion, that's going to go very positively for you. Whoever you are and have this class. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Love it. Saying. All right, you guys, we're done. I love you guys. I hope this helped. And namaste. I'm out. Just saying, just saying. No jail cell for me tonight. Because let me, I just want to say real quick, I'm done reading you click off. But I just want to say, if I was going to get locked up, which I know those people would have fucking loved that. And that's just the truth. If I was going to get locked up, I was going to fucking refuse to eat the jail food. Because trust me, I worked in that jail before. That food is nasty as hell. Nasty as hell. And I, I would have been as... People think I'm skinny now, which I'm not. I'm not skinny at all. At all, at all. But some people complain I'm too damn skinny. Well, it ain't their life. It ain't their body. But thing is, is... I would have been even more skinnier after three months. I would have been damn stiff because I wouldn't have, I would have refused to eat a damn morsel of that food. That's some sick ass shit in there. That's just the truth. Like, I remember one morning, it was almost close to shift change, and I was in there assessing a patient in the clinic, and he was eating or attempting to eat his breakfast. They brought the trays around. Oh, Lord, the smell. I was doing his vital signs, and the smell was just horrifying. We had a, we have a, there was a big trash bin in there, you know, like if, if somebody throws up or bloody products or what have you, what have you. I was using that big bin because I was dry heaving. I was like so nauseous. It was that bad. And he reeked of alcohol. So coupled with the smell of that food, it just was so nasty, but just saying. All right, love you guys. Namaste.